Hi everyone, I'm Victoria McFarlane and this is Flicks Worth Clicks. Now our movie for today is World's Greatest Dad. Now here's the thing about this movie. People either really like this movie or they really hate this movie. And I'm going to tell you why I like this movie. This is a Robin Williams movie, so of course there's going to be some humor in it. But this is a little bit of different kind of humor than you would see in like Patch Adams or some of his past work like Birdcage. It's not as goofy and like out there. It's more subtle and sarcastic and sort of smartassy and dry. This movie is very difficult to give a plot summary on because if I tell you the plot of it, then you're not going to be surprised when the twist happens and that's just going to ruin everything. And I don't like ruining things for people. I like telling people to check things out, but I don't like to ruin the plot for people. I'm not a spoiler, so that's why I never give you guys a very big plot summary. But just, you just gotta trust me on this one and just click on it and if you don't like it then just stop. You don't have to watch the whole thing. No one's forcing you. I mean this isn't Clockwork Orange. Nobody's holding your eyes open or anything. So the movie is pretty much split right down the middle. The first half is sort of a long sort of funny build up and it gives you a background on the characters and you know how Robin Williams character is with his son and then the other half is sort of a sad fallout to what happens in the middle that I can't tell you about because that'll ruin the whole thing. I also would like to say that I think Robin Williams does a great performance in this movie. There's, you know, the funny Robin Williams that everybody knows and then there's a very emotional side to Robin that you don't normally really see except for maybe like one hour photo but I remember when I saw that one it kind of scarred me and I didn't watch Mrs. Doubtfire for like five years. So this isn't as bad as one hour photo but you will be impressed with the fact that Robin can be serious at times and isn't funny all the time like everybody would expect him to be as his typecasted characters are. Now the genre of this I would say is kind of a dark dry comedy although it is technically an independent film because everything on Netflix is an independent film because God knows they can't get real movies. Big warning in this movie though. There is some male genitalia junk flashing and I'm not entirely sure if it's Robin Williams junk or stunt junk I just know that there's junkage and personally I don't want to see Robin Williams junk so for my own benefit I'm just gonna pretend that it's stunt junk because that's just gonna help me sleep at night so if you have a problem with seeing Robin Williams junk close your eyes when the pool scene comes up. Quick note before I sign off, um, therebyeeks.com is doing the Extra Life game tournament thingy for Dornbecker's Children Hospital, so there's a link down there to donate if you want to help the children at Dornbecker's Hospital because you have a soul, but if you don't, then you don't have a soul and that's okay, that's fine, not everybody's born with a soul. That was my flick worth a click for today. I hope to see you guys here next week for our next movie, which I have no idea what it'll be, so surprise! Bye!